What's up YouTube, as our guys doing? So let us talk about uh, uh, President of Russia is visiting on uh, October this year to South Africa. So is Ramaphosa the president, the president of uh, South Africa is gonna <laughs> is gonna let's say order an arrest on the superpower, the president of Russia. Is Ramaphosa is gonna do that? I doubt it. The president of South the president of South Africa, Ramaphosa, is gonna <laughs> is not gonna uh, jeopardize his country and his reputation by uh, arresting President Putin, the president, the super, the president, the superpower country. Okay, it's never happened before. I think the reason ICC. Uh, issue arrest warrant to uh, President Putin is a uh, political you know I think it's it's I think it's, it's political to embarrassing they tried to embarrassing the the leaders of Russia they tried to embarrassing uh, Putin the president of Russia and also they tried to embarrassing other uh, uh, Russian leaders okay or even make them scaring of the United States the reason I say ICC is a United States, United States government organization because ICC has no teeth or tooth. No? ICC, ICC has no uh, balls to order arrest warranty to George Bush, to Tony Blair, to Barack Obama, and some. Uh, American leaders who are dead from the grave. Okay? So if you're talking about uh, atrocities, criminalities, okay, if you're talking about Russians uh, making or committing crimes in, uh, uh, in Ukraine, let us talk about other Western leaders committing crimes around the globe. Coups bombings, destroying countries, cultures, traditional, everything. So is it the uh, uh, South African Supreme Court will order an uh, arrest on uh, President of Russia, Putin? I'm saying no. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, there's no country in this, in this earth will allow themselves to be in jeopardy, okay? Will allow themselves to put an arrest on you, uh, uh, President Putin, okay? So the President of Russia will go to South Africa on August, safe and sound, and is gonna get out from South Africa after their meetings, BRICS meetings, safe back to Russia, safe and sound. Okay? So, uh, President of Russia, Russia is not bound on a ICC uh, judicial thing, you know, even they didn't sign the, you know, Uh, even in America, they didn't sign the article of uh, ICC uh, uh, you know, protocol or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but uh, you understand what I'm talking about. We have many, many countries that did not signed these so-called ICC organizations, okay? But, uh, so, R Ramaphosa, the... Uh, the South African president is not, is not gonna go is not gonna go that far okay to jeopardize uh, 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 South African uh, South African relationship uh, between South African and uh, Russia relationship okay 
And why Africans are on this organization anyway? Because this organization actually is targeting African leaders and the poor, poor countries, okay? But superpowers, okay? There's some superpowers in this world that committed crimes, big time. But ICC are nowhere to offer, uh, uh, to issue uh, uh, an, uh, uh, a warranty, uh, arrest warrant to, this, to these leaders. What is that? So the double standards, it's, it, it's unbelievable, my friend. So uh, the way I see it, the president of Russia is going to go to South Africa uh, and he's going to, they're going to have their BRICS meetings over there and uh, the president of uh, uh, Russia maybe even go after that probably probably is going to go to Iran or maybe to uh, some of uh, um, uh, uh, Gulf uh, countries I'm just saying I'm not sure but none of n there's no country in this world actually uh, is going to arrest Putin even if even if Putin even if even if even if uh, even if Putin is going to go to Germany or any ICC country uh, signed uh, countries to ICC, no. He, he can go to you know, Brazil or uh, uh, Colombia, whatever it is. I don't think those countries uh, they're gonna uh, put themselves in uh, a jeopardy to uh, arrest uh, President Putin, the president of Russia. I don't think so. But now they, they want to embarrass and scare, okay, scare Russian people. Russian people, they're not scared. <laughs> okay? Russian, Russian countries are not like a, a, a broken ass a black countries. Okay? I'm black. I'm from, I'm, from, I'm from Africa. But when I see uh, the way uh, some leaders in Africa, the way they drive, okay? they, are, they are countries. Sometimes you, you shake your head. Okay? You ask yourself what's going on in Africa. Okay, but I see Julius Malema, uh, EFF leader, uh, he, he, he is bringing the history of Russia. Okay, you remember uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the ruling party of South Africa, okay, used, used to be called by these so-called Westerners as uh, terrorist organizations. They used to call Nelson Mandela a terrorist. Okay, British used to call um, Gandhi. Okay, the, 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 the found father of India, Gandhi. Yeah? A, a, a little naked man. Okay, and the, the, the Western used to call Jomo Kenyatta a terrorist. They used to call other leaders, African leaders and other uh, leaders, dictators, and they're still doing the same thing. If they don't get their waves, uh, if they don't get their ways, okay, if they see a certain leaders in this world, they don't obey and bow down to a Western will or American will. They'll, America, they'll give these leaders names, such as he's corrupt, uh, he's killing his own people, uh, he, he, he's, viol he's violating uh, human rights. Uh, he's uh, a, a dictator, you know, something like that. And they're they're trying to create an an organization, an, an organization, criminal organization in that country, so that that country they can use that organization to upset uh, the leadership of that country. And then they're gonna pour those names on that. Uh, on, on that leader and then it's gonna governize the the masses to go against that leader or oh, the leader is corrupt the leader is killing his own people blah 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 you know you know the example of what America was calling the, the way the way America was calling Gaddafi 
Saddam Hussein you know, and other leaders in South, South America and other leaders that they are opposing American hegemony. Okay? That's their, that's their, this, 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 this their, their behavior. Okay? But to my opinions, the way I see it, uh, I don't think the president of uh, South Africa, Ramaphosa, is going to arrest Putin. It's not, it's not going to happen. Okay? Guess who helped uh, uh, South Africa? Hmm? During so called apartheid. Okay? The apartheid, the white people who were supported by the US, killing the black people in South Africa. Okay, the Russia provide assistance, and even Cuba actually sent soldiers from Cuba. Cuba, Castro, the former leader of Cuba, sent forces from Cuba to go assist uh, their fellow black people in Africa, in South Africa. Can you imagine? So, when you see the atrocities and killings and miseries which were committed by the Western countries, and when you see the Russians and Chinese, there's a big, huge difference. Chinese never colonized Africa. Russia never colonized Africa. Actually, Russia is trying to help Africans of these so-called Chan chains of westerns okay because africa still is under the uh under the chain of western countries and russia tried to break this chain so that uh, russia and china they are trying to break this chain they try to break this chain which which was which was uh, which was bind or which was actually you no know, killing the African dreams. I can I can put that away. You no, know, the African people they have to break this Western chain, and the Russians and Chinese do, they try to break it, and if the African people they don't realize this. Oh, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, but uh, African people, uh, they, they, they must, okay, understand what's the uh, Western agenda, okay, on African continent. Okay, which, which what, what is, uh, okay, so you, you know your history. You know who colonized you. You know who actually killed you. You know, you know who divided your lands. You know who divided your families in Africa. You know that. But some of you still praising the same same people who uh, put you in a, in a death row of chain. Uh, in a, in a miseries for centuries. So we, we welcome, I'm not from South Africa, but we welcome Putin in South Africa in August. Okay, and Putin will be there in the BRICS meetings and he's going to come out there safe and sound. Okay, because I believe Russia maybe, maybe Russia is the savior of Africans. Maybe. Russia and China. These two countries and maybe other countries with a good will, not dictating no African countries. Okay, because some Western African uh, some because some uh, West 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 Western countries, such especially America and Britain and France, they want to dictate African uh, nations only my way if not my way 
you're going to be this, you're going to be that. You know? Sanctions and all this and all that. But China is in Africa, okay, on a winning or on a win win situation, not dictating the African people or African leaders. You know? China is not spreading democracy, you know? fake democracy, you know? democracy of my decision, but not democracy of your decision. If it's my decision, it's democracy. If it's your decision, it's not democracy. You need to be deposed or coos or even killed. So this is the Western, especially American democracy, spreading all over the world. Either my way or your way. If it's your way, you are no longer democracy. If it's my way, it's democracy. Please subscribe, put your comments. Take care. Bye-bye.